I'm Kelly. I'm a junior outside hitter from Moraga, California. So why did you choose Yale? Well, the beautiful scenery, of course. I chose Yale because, well, the volleyball team, when I visited, the girls were unbelievable and so nice and honestly instantly felt like family. The school, I mean, it's Yale, so how could you say no? So, I mean, all the above. I wanted to go to the East Coast for at least one time in my life, so I chose college to do it. So far, what has been your favorite part, besides the volleyball of Yale? Hmm. Besides the volleyball, I would say all the friends that I've made outside of volleyball. Um, I mean, you meet extraordinary people at Yale. What's one thing about you no one knows? I used to be able to solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute and a half. Used to. Used to. Keyword. <laughs> if you had one superpower, what would it be? Probably to fly. I hate running, so in high school, if I could fly the mile instead of running it, it'd be you don't think anyone would notice? Sure. No, I just kind of go like this high. Oh, around. just hovering? Yeah, just okay. hover. Good. Oh, that's sneaky. <laughs> Any hidden talents? What is the last show you binge watched? Um, I'm currently watching Revenge. It's an awful show, but it is so addicting, just like anything on Netflix. What was the last movie you saw in the theater? Dunkirk. Yeah, I saw Dunkirk um, a few weeks ago, and before that I hadn't seen a movie in theaters for a long time. You're a new crayon in the box of crayons. How exciting. What color are you and why? Um, first thing that popped in my head is like a really electric blue. Like really bright turquoise, but like electric and neon. You have any superstitions? No, I actually don't, but Kate Swanson is my pepper partner and she is the most superstitious person I know. I'm a really superstitious person. So therefore I am kind of forced into this superstitious lifestyle. But me, myself, and I don't have any superstitions, no. What would your personal motto be? I am smart enough, I am good enough, and gosh darn it, people like me.